Hey guys, it's that time of year where it's the end of the year, and we ramble on about the year, basically. This is, we've done this, this is our third year doing this, I should say. And, um, I went back and watched our past two things, and every year I've been saying it's been an alright year for games, at least for me. And this year feels the same. Um, because for those of you who don't know, uh, my name is Edo Kotoba. We're a Let's Play channel, a variety streamer, we play a variety of games. Sometimes we do video series here and there, but, yeah, we play out lots of games wherever I feel like, mainly Nintendo, but if you look on the screen now, it's like, damn, look at all those games, you know? <laughs> we played all those on the channel at some point, whether it's Twitch or U YouTube, sometimes both, you know? And if you count up these games, we get 64 for games, very trifling. And of these games, 27 of them were new were new games. <laughs> but to get to the old older games for a second as to why we play the older games, it's because there's usually like a gap in games as a Nintendo-focused streamer and content person, I guess, and just for my own interest, because I play the stuff I'm genuinely interested in. I wanted some stuff to play, you know? <laughs> and I didn't want to replay some old older games that I've done before or like replay the same games over over and over over again like that's not me you know and we do that for some stuff but like legit all the time no like i'd rather increase my palette let's say is that the phrase i don't know we'll go with that <laughs> like that's one of the reasons why we played spyro reignited Tr trilogy the crash insane Tr 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 trilogy as well as crash four it's about time you know we did pokemon Co colosseum colosseum i'm pronouncing it wrong i don't care pokemon Stadium 2 super Met metroid again Final Fantasy X-2, Dragon Ball Fighters, because why not? It was on sale. <laughs> also, in the along the same vein of filling in that void, um, in December, hashtag in December, which I was doing for us, I guess, um, where we focus on just indie games for the month of December. Like that was a fun time for me, I'd say, because I play games I normally wouldn't, you know, or wouldn't bother to buy normally. But these games caught my interest when I was look, looking around some other stuff. Like we had Shiro, Minoria, Kenna, I already was in, interest, interested in. So I'm glad, glad we played that. Same with Death, with Death's Door. Um, one of you guys has been trying to get me to play Cave Story Plus for what feels like forever. I finally caved in and bought that because... <laughs> no pun intended, I just realized that. Cave, cave Story caved in. I'ma stop. But... <laughs> that was a fun time. It was stressful at the end to get the true ending, but... It'd be like that sometimes, you know, It'd be like that sometimes, you know. But speaking of stressful stuff and indie games, Blue Fire, we played that at the beginning of the year. Um, that's probably my favorite indie game this year, if I had to say. Um, I always have at least one because every year we play at least a couple of indie games regardless. Um, I think Blue Fire might be my favorite one this year. Well, that's because of the stress that it gave me. It's a 3D platformer and I like and I like those. I do recommend the game if you guys are interested in that type of playstyle, I guess. But yeah, we'll take this moment to shift over to the new games. I'm including the DLC in these games too, like the Hyrule Warriors expansion. Because um, there was story stuff in there and we did videos for the, chan the channel for that. It was great. I loved it. Fun times all around. Sad times. And when you 100% it, which I did on, on my own time, feels as well. Feels there as well. <laughs> and um, Animal Crossing Happy Home Paradise, just jumping right to the, the, the next one. That was fun. I really do need to f finish that. I, do, I like fell out of it because GRPGs came out towards that time as well. Like Shimming got my Tensei 5. That was life for a while. It was great. I loved it. And that was his life. <laughs> Same with Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. I beat the game. That was trifling. That's on the channel as well. That's on the YouTube side. We did. Shipping Gummy Tensei 5 was a Twitch thing. Most RPGs stay on Twitch because they take too long and I can play and start whenever I want. YouTube is more scheduled, more of a system. So I have to strategically pick how and when I do those types of things, you know? If you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Just stay tuned. Basically, there's also links in the description for how you can stay tuned, like Twitter, Discord, all that fun stuff. For those of you who care to do all that, but yeah, uh, Pokemon Shin Megami Tensei Five, great games, I love them. But yeah, moving on, Monster Hunter Stories Two, Wings of Ruin, that was a great game for me. I love that. That was fun times all around, and with the Monster Hunter theme in play, um, Monster Hunter Rise. We did a 30-hour stream for that game. A 30-hour stream. Are you listening to me? A 30 hour stream. But, <laughs> I don't know why that was, that was weird, I, I apologize. But yeah, that was a fun time, that was really trifling though. Um, I don't know if we'll do, do that again, but um, <laughs> it was great, it was great, it was great. Other things to point out for the new ones, um, video series, we did a couple of video series for sure, for sure. Um, Cyber Shadow, an indie game I enjoyed, video series for that. No More Heroes 3 is an example I want to point out for sure is where we streamed it to YouTube, 
but then I took the videos and made them into videos for YouTube as well. And um, Super Mario 3D World is an example, example for that. And I'm going to use this to segue to Bowser's Fury, because Bowser's Fury, it was short, don't get me wrong, but it's like a $20, $20 expansion, that's how I'm justifying it, to the 3D World stuff. And it was pretty fun. I enjoyed it, I would do, do it again. Would, would recommend it for sure, for sure. It's great. I loved it. It was great. We'll see if the next Mario game is, is, is like that in a similar way. Um, but I probably won't hear about that until 2023 if I had to guess. Or it won't come out until 2023. <laughs> Going back to the whole vi video thing. Um, Metroid Dread. Metroid Dread. Favorite game this year, I would say. Favorite game this year. It's my game of the year. I don't care what anyone says. You guys should watch our playthrough of it. There's an iCard on the screen right now for it because I want you all to watch it. And... I'm gonna keep saying you also should watch it because Metroid needs our love. When Metroid stuff comes out next year, we're gonna be playing it. When it comes out in 2023, we're gonna be playing it because if rumors say what they say, and if Metroid Prime 4 comes out when we think it's coming out, that's two more years of, Me of Metroid stuff back to back. I'm, I'm all here for it, you know? <laughs> but just to keep this moving, there's a lot more stuff I could probably say about some stuff. There's gonna be a playlist at the end of the end of this where I have some videos for 2021 in like a playlist um, that I think you all should check out for sure, for sure, at least. Because I know if we play too many different games, but there's some stuff I'd like you all to at least check out, you know? So I have a playlist for that. It's it's my 2021 picks, basically. So there's gonna be an end card for that and the I card right now, probably just because. And um, yeah, that's that. <laughs> and uh, if you look at the screen right now there's a thing showing the games coming out next year that i for sure want to play and that we're going to play for sure for youtube and or twitch you know i want it to be good so solemn the frontiers i'm really excited for that you know that's probably my most hyped game for next year that is confirmed i should say according to what sega is saying when splatoon 3 3 comes out that's going to be our weekly community community game when that comes out so that's going to replace our smash marker and whatever else we do it's going to be just splatoon because I like Splatoon, you know? <laughs> uh, Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. I know it's DLC, but it's a big expansion. I'm excited for that. Bayonetta and the 3. We've been waiting for that for years. Excited for that. For Spoken, that's our PS5 game so far. There's other games on this list I would have here, like uh, Final Fantasy 16, but there's word now that it might be delayed uh, out of next year. That's what people are thinking. So we'll see if that's true or not. I don't know. And then Breath of the Wild 2, you know? They say they're they're shooting for 2022, which makes me think it might be 2023. So I'm not surprised if it is or not. So that's why I don't want it on this little picture thing right now because it's not confirmed. Confirmed. Same with Final Fantasy 16. But yeah, that's what you're looking forward to for next year for us, with us and whatever else they, they decide, decide to announce, right? But 2022 is going to be a great year for gaming. And I say that for every other, other year too. I say the next year is going to be a great year for gaming. But then when the year is over, I'm like, oh, it's all right, you know. But next year for sure, for sure. But yeah, uh, enough rant. I mean, I don't know how long this video is. Um, I apologize if it's going on for too long. I just want to get my thoughts out. Let you all know what's up, how I feel about this thing and such. Um, and yeah, thank you all for watching, guys. Um, to uh, another year of us playing games together and watching me play and such, you know, because as a Let's Play channel, you know, I play games, so you don't have to. And from the variety you see on the screen now, we play a lot of games. So you have plenty of poison to pick from, basically. <laughs> I really appreciate the support, guys. I really do. You know, this year's been something. I would say. I don't. I don't want to get into it, but um, hopefully the next year's better. Let's say. And uh, yeah. Thank you all for, for putting up with me. Keep it legit, like always. Until next time. Until next year. Bye bye.